Namaskaram students. Today we are going to see the collusion theory. This theory was proposed by Max Schwartz in 1916 and William Lewis in 1918 independently. This theory is based on the kinetic theory of gases and according to this theory chemical reaction occurred as a result of collusion. This theory considers three factors they are collusion factor, orientation factor and steric factor. Let us consider reaction between A molecule and B molecule we get two moles of AB molecule. In this reaction the reaction occurred between two molecule A and B through the collusion means we get the rate of the reaction that is collusion rate is directly proportional to the concentration of A molecule and concentration of B molecule. So that after replacing the directly proportional as a constant EZ we get the equation collusion rate is equal to EZ into concentration of A to concentration of A, uh, A molecule and concentration of B molecule. From the kinetic theory of gases each molecule undergo 10 power 9 collusion per second at room temperature 298 Kelvin and 1 atmosphere pressure that is every collusion resulted in the reaction uh, the reaction would be completed in 10 power minus 9 second but it is not happen like that because all collusion are not effective if they are effective means they collide with each other and give the product so each and every molecule should possess a minimum energy that energy is called as activation energy the molecules which possess the minimum energy that is activation energy will will give the product otherwise they will not give the product this diagram shows that the reactant which has the activation energy Ea should reaches the transition state after transition state it goes to product to calculate fraction of effective collusion small f the following expression is given small f is equal to e to the power of minus Ea by Rt if the Ea value is 100 kilojoule mole minus 1 and temperature value 300 Kelvin R value 8.314 joule Kelvin minus 1 mole minus 1 afterward we get the small f value 4 into 10 power minus 18 this shows that out of 10 power 18 collusion only 4 collusion alone sufficiently energetic to give the product next one orientation factor in this one first of all see the diagram uh, first diagram the a molecule in a molecule a atom one of the a atom is uh, reacted with the one of the b atom of b molecule the same way another atom directly uh, attacked by another b atom this is called as proper alignment and this proper alignment only we get the effective collusion so that product will be formed another one key uh, below that one the a molecule one of the atom alone react with the another one of the atom of b molecule only so that we get the this is called as improper alignment and so that we get ineffective collusion we uh, once again we get the reactant alone not product so it is very important even though they have the sufficient energy to collide with each other the orientation factor also we have to consider then only it give the effective collusion the next factor is steric factor the fraction of effective collusion having proper orientation is given by the steric factor. Now the rate is equal to steric factor P into F means collusion factor into collusion rate. We already know the collusion rate we get is it into concentration of A2 and concentration of B2 and F value E to the power of minus Ea by Rt. We substitute this value we get the rate is equal to P into E to the power of minus Ea by Rt is it into concentration of A molecule and concentration of B molecule. 
and another one the rate law as per the rate law we get the rate is equal to rate constant into concentration of a molecule into concentration of b molecule now see the two equation both are same only and equating these two we get the rate constant value is equal to p into z into e to the power of minus e a by r t here k is, is a rate constant value Arrhenius equation the rate of the reaction increases with the increase in temperature the reaction rate are doubled when the temperature is increased by 10 degrees celsius some of the reactions are do not take place at room temperature but they occur readily at high temperature for example hydrogen molecule reacted with the oxygen molecule to form water that reaction take place when the electric spark is passed what is electric spark here means they may be a thousand degree celsius to thousand six hundred degree celsius that is high temperature alone the hydrogen molecule and oxygen molecule reacted with each other give the product water rate of the reaction increases with the increase in temperature can be explained by doing this activity in first a that that a tube we are going to take the cold water along with the phenolphthalein and magnesium granules and b test tube we are going to take the hot water along with the phenolphthalein and magnesium granules but in b test tube only we are going to get the pink color because in hot water magnesium granules reacted with each other give the magnesium hydroxide that magnesium hydroxide is a basic one so that it reacts with the phenolphthalein indicator gives the pink color but in a tube it is a cold water the cold water never react with the magnesium granules so that we never get the magnesium hydroxide so there is no pink color from this activity we come to know that the rate of the reaction increases with the increasing temperature Arrhenius proposed a equation that gives the relationship between rate constant and temperature that equation is k is equal to a e to the power of minus e a by r t here k is a rate constant k is a frequency factor e a is the activation energy r is a rate constant t is the temperature afterward we are going to take the logarithm in both side we get ln k is equal to ln a plus ln e to the power of minus e a by r t but ln e value is equal to 1 so that the equation now becomes ln k is equal to ln a minus e a by r t in this equation we are going to separate e a by r alone means we get 1 by t now see this equation this one is in the in the form of straight line y is equal to c plus mx y is the we are going to take in y axis ln k and x axis 1 by uh, 1 by t this give the straight line with the negative what is negative means whenever the temperature increases the ln k value decreases that is called as negative straight line uh, from that straight line we have one slope that slope value is minus e a by r now we are going to calculate the activation energy from the Arrhenius equation what is Arrhenius equation k is equal to a e to the power of minus e a by r t after taking logarithm that equation is become as ln k is equal to ln a minus e a by r t now the temperature t1 means the rate constant value become as k1 after substituting the t1 k1 in the above equation we get one equation ln k1 is equal to ln a minus e a by r t1 so afterward suppose temperature t2 means the rate constant value is k2 after substituting the t2 and k2 in the above equation we get one more equation ln k2 is equal to ln a minus e a by r t2
now we are going to subtract these two equation we get ln k2 minus ln k1 is equal to minus ea by rt2 plus ea by rt1 after rearranging that we get the equation ln k2 by k1 is equal to ea by r uh, into 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2 that land value we have to change as a base logarithm 10 means we have to multiply 2.303 we get that value so after rearranging that we at, at last we get the equation log k2 by k1 is equal to ea by 2.303 r into t2 minus t1 divided by t1 t2 if you know the value k1 k2 t1 t2 then only we can calculate the activation energy ea